Hey guys, what I'm doing today is I found an old, old recording going back, way back to the early 80s. That's Chuck Berry, rock legend Chuck Berry. <clears throat> he played at a, an opening for a car dealership. <clears throat> and I happened to work for the uh, local community station and we covered the event and I just happened to find an old tape on three quarter inch. And this is the trouble I had to go to to get a three-quarter inch machine to play this tape. Uh, these are pretty rare beasts these days. So I figured I'd show you the inner workings of this puppy while I had it all apart. I actually had to tear the machine all down just to make it play the recording back because the mechanism had been sitting so long that nothing wanted to work. The mechanism's all gummed up. As it is, I have to play around with it to get it to rewind. But I'll show you the, the guts to this sucker. Because they are totally different than uh, a VHS machine would be. First of all, the tape runs backwards. Tape runs from the right side to the left. Tape actually goes out around the head drum this way. And returns back into the cassette. Now I'm going to drag out a three-quarter or a, a beta machine at some point and show you the inner workings of one of those so you can see the difference. A beta machine is very similar in operation to a three-quarter inch machine. In fact, the Betamax format was uh, a half-inch version of what you're looking at here. <laughs> 